Hello, 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 hello. I've made it to uh, 500 Boston Street, and I guess I'm about ready to uh, give another lecture. Uh, most of my lectures would be about my my interest group, my special interest. Let's talk about Musa Consulting. That's it. Sorry, Musa Corner Consulting USA. Okay, if you've been following me, remember we we, we got a million artists, musicians, and dancers coming from America going to Africa, and we got a million dancers and singers coming from Africa and coming to America, and they're traveling around both and. Both groups are traveling around those particular countries, entertaining and making friends. Now that's, what about the economy of it? Well, if you're trying to get a million people from one part of the world to another, another part of the world, you're going to need transportation. That means both economies, the jets, flying from Africa to the U.S. It's going to cost for those people to fly from one region to the other. Now let's look at the economics. A million people getting on planes, flying here and there. Look, look, look at the economy. They've got to be transported to the airport. They've got to be housed. They got to be fed. That's just part of it. Okay, the economy is gradually building because of all these artists and musicians are traveling abroad. The hotels are filled. Okay, now how, how do we house these people in both parts of the world? We could do it at the universities. Universities at, I, I, I know in, in, in Kenya you, you have what you have, hospitality training at universities, guest housing. So our educational institutions could house these people. Okay, we're still talking about economics. Every, everything costs, food costs, transportation costs. That's just part of it. You say, so, so your question is, so what is the purpose of, of, of t taking a million entertainers from one part of the world to the other part of the world. It's politics. Now we talk politics. We got an enemy. Two. And they already geared up toward defeating America. America has a turn the minds of people around him. And he has an opportunity to do it, especially in Africa. Yes, the continent of Africa is the richest continent on earth. And African people live on that part of the earth. You don't have to start wars to kill the people. You enrich the people with ideas. And those minerals that they have, they're willing to share with their colleagues. It's about time for America to stop creating wars. Because eventually, when we create wars, eventually the wars come right back to us. Now, I'm going to close this little lecture because I want to see how I look. When I, when I clock back on, maybe I'll be talking about something else, but I'm going to review my last message I'm going to check out right now.